Do you know what one of the easiest ways is to decorate your home on a budget? In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to sew a pillow. Hi, I'm Jan Newton from Newton Custom Interiors, where I like to share tips and tutorials to help you decorate your home on a budget. I love pillows and how they can instantly update a room. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make just a regular pillow, and then I'm going to show you how to close the bottom of the pillow two different ways. The first way we're going to close the pillow is hand sewing the bottom closed, and the second method is machine sewing the bottom closed. Let's go over the supplies that you'll need to make your pillow. You'll need the fabric of your choice. You'll need a pillow form. I like these Fairfield soft touch pillow forms. You'll need a measuring tape and you'll also need some kind of measuring ruler, yardstick, or even a square to cut out your pillow. You'll need pins and some kind of fabric marker. You'll also need scissors. I like to use small scissors for the hand sewing and then larger scissors for cutting out the fabric. You'll also need something to poke out the corners after you turn your pillow right side out. I like to use this tool. It's called That Purple Thing. You can also use a chopstick or something like that too. You'll need thread to match your fabric. And then of course you'll need your sewing machine. Before you cut out your fabric, measure your pillow form with your measuring tape. Measure from one seam over to the other seam. And mine is about 18 inches. So I know this pillow form is an 18 by 18 inch pillow. Cut out two pieces of fabric, one for the front, one for the back of your pillow. And you wanna cut out your fabric the same size as your pillow form. So I cut my fabric 18 inches by 18 inches, the same size as my pillow form. When I cut out my fabric, I made sure that each of these motifs are the same on both the front side and the back side. I also put a pin in the bottom of each piece of fabric to show me which side is the bottom. To keep the fabric from fraying, if you have a serger, you can serge around all four sides of your fabric, or you can use your zigzag stitch on your sewing machine and sew around all four sides of the fabric with the zigzag stitch. Lay one piece of fabric on top of the other fabric with the right sides together. So you've got the right sides on the inside. Next we're going to pin around three of the sides of the pillow and just about two or two and a half inches in from each edge because we want to leave an opening at the bottom of the pillow. I've got my two pieces of fabric pinned around the three sides and then I've got the opening at the bottom and I've marked my beginning and ending spots where I'm going to sew along the bottom edge. Starting along the bottom edge, I'm going to sew around the three sides of the pillow. I'm using a half inch seam allowance and a medium size stitch length. I'm going to sew forward, then I'm going to do a little back stitch to make sure that the stitching doesn't come out when we insert our pillow. So I sew up to the corner, and when I get to about a half inch, then I'm going to put my needle down, I'm going to raise my presser foot, and I'm going to pivot the fabric. Then I'm going to start sewing along this first side. I'm going to continue around all three sides until I get back to the bottom edge again where my pin is. Okay, I'm coming up to my last corner. I'm going to get to about a half inch away from the bottom edge and pivot again. Then I'm going to back stitch where my pin is. Pivot your fabric and then just sew up to where your pin was and do a back stitch. 
So we've sewn around three sides of our pillow and then we've left the opening so that we can put our pillow form in. After you're done sewing your pillow together, be sure to clip your corners at an angle, but don't clip into the stitching. When you clip your corners, then when you turn your fabric right side out, it makes the corner less bulky. To help push out the corner, you can use your, that purple thing like I've got here, or you can use a chopstick or a wooden dowel. Once you've got your pillow cover turned right side out, we're going to iron the bottom edge with a half inch seam allowance. And then we'll turn it over and do the other side. Next, insert your pillow form. I like to take my pillow form and do a karate chop in the middle and then grab both sides to make it easier to get the pillow form in our pillow cover. Just insert the pillow form, making sure to get all of the corners of the pillow form into the corners of your pillow cover. After you insert your pillow form, your corners may be a little floppy. I like to add a little bit of fiber fill to my corners. So if you've got some fiber fill, you can just insert it into the corners and it will help fill them out. Next, we're going to pin the opening closed. I like to start in the center and place my pin going side to side, parallel with the edge of the pillow. Then I like to come over to the right hand side and pin. and then just continue pinning all the way across the pillow. I've made two pillows and I'm going to show you two different ways that you can close the bottom edge of the pillow. The first way is we're going to hand sew it closed. The second way is to machine sew it closed with the sewing machine. I've got a pretty good length of thread and I've threaded my needle at the end because I'm going to use two strands, I'm going to knot both strands just by wrapping it around my finger, twisting, and then pulling the knot down. I'm going to start on the right side. I'm going to take the pin out. I'm going to take my needle and place it in the seam and have it come out where that fold of fabric is. Pull it on through. Then I'm going to Take a little bit of fabric along the opposite fold of fabric. Just a little bit of fabric. Pull it through. Then I'm going to go back across to the other side. Take a little bit of fabric along that ridge or fold of fabric. So what we're doing is we're making a ladder stitch. We're going across, over, across again, and over. And it will look like a ladder if the stitches all showed. So I'm just going to continue along the rest of the pillow until I get to the other side. So I've sewn all the way across the bottom of the pillow and I've just got another stitch or so to, to make and then I'll knot off the fabric. So we're at the end where I need to make my knot. I'm going to pick just a little bit of fabric, pull my needle through, leave a loop, of thread and put my needle through it and then pull it tight and that makes your knot. I'm going to do it one more time. So I'm going to take a little bit of fabric again, pull it through until I have a loop, put my needle through it and pull it tight again. And then to kind of camouflage the knot a little bit and to hide the thread, I'm going to stick my needle through the knot and then push it down into the pillow and then come out below. Pull the needle out and once you've pulled your needle out then you just need to cut the thread and then that will hide the end of the thread. Next we're going to machine stitch this pillow closed. So I'm going to put my fabric in under my needle and you're going to have to hold on to the pillow really tightly. I'm going to do a back stitch. So I'm going to go forward, backwards, 
and then I'm going to start sewing along the bottom edge of the pillow. Then when you get to your regular stitching, you can do a back stitch again. So you can see on this pillow, we've done our machine stitching along the bottom edge. So that's my tutorial for how to sew a pillow. Thanks for watching.